Hello guys, and welcome to AMZ's Corner. Well, I'm here at the apartment tonight. Uh, it's been a long long week, it's Friday. I got, uh, figured I'd pay it forward a little to all my Saab 9000 buddies out there, everyone with a Saab 9000. Um, some of this information I want to show you guys can be kind of hard to find, and a lot of people have asked me for it lately. So I figured I would, uh, I would take care of something and uh, help some people out with this. So what I've been asked for are things like this. Now what we have here, let this focus real nice. Now this is a copy of the 97 Saab 9000 CSE uh, vacuum routing. This is the six cylinder turbo engine. And there it is right there for those of you who need it. Now uh, this is the V6. Uh, these are really basic but pretty much everything that's going to be broken off this kind of gives you an idea uh, you can stop this video anytime you want to to look at what you want so I've got the uh, there's the vacuum diagram for the V6 and then uh, I've got a bunch of others here let me find the next one I probably should have collated these a little better before I started filming but it's been a long day so and then here we have that same vacuum diagram for the low pressure turbo. And there you have it. This would be the LPT car. This uh, this doesn't have the APC solenoids. I believe that's the difference from the, the VIN M and the other VIN, which we'll see in a moment. So if you need this information, just pause it right there. And you've got it. So, let's see what else we got here. I, I printed up a few. So here's another one. Now, I'm not exactly sure what's different between this one and the last one. But this is VIN U. This would be the high pressure turbo car. Uh, if anybody sees the difference, let me know. Uh, apparently the APC lines aren't included in these pictures. But I could probably get a diagram that has that. And another thing we've got over here I decided to, to get because some people, I know some people need them and these can be hard to find, is belt routing. Now there you go, Saab 9000 like we would have over here in America, the 2.3. So, you know, pause this on your phone, take it out to your car, pause, you know, draw a picture of this if you need it. And uh, this would be like, uh, oh... 93, 94 through 98, 2.3. Um, yep. And then I got this one here. Uh, says it's for a 97 2.3, but as you can see, it's different than the other one. Uh, I think this would be the engine like in uh, a 9.5. Uh, sometimes, you know, they're not categorized right. I know this isn't like a regular 9000 aero because the tensioner is over here and all that, so. If this is something that looks like what you got, well, there you go. And then, there's the V6. There's the V6 belt routing. Now, these are really, really easy for me to get. I have all of these for not just Saabs, for just about any car. I, I've got these for belt routing, vacuum diagrams. I also have wiring diagrams. So, if there's something here, you need something I can help you with that you need, I'm here for you guys. I'm I'm here for my fans, I'm here for the Saab, fellow Saab enthusiasts. So, if there's something you need, if you need a wiring diagram for a Saab 9000, I'll, uh, I can edit it in. Just uh, leave a comment down below. I, uh, all of my comments are linked to my email, they're linked to my Google+. Plus. So, if someone wants something or leaves a comment on a YouTube on this video or any of my videos, I, I know about it right away. And uh, I'm pretty good at responding to all my videos. So if you want a wiring diagram for a Saab 9000 or, or some other diagram that I can help you with, just leave the comment and I'll edit it into this video. Uh, you know, maybe before I'm saying what I'm saying, I'll jump cut to, to the diagram or the information you need. Um, also, if, uh, if you've got something going on with your car, and you want to ask somebody questions that knows about these sobs uh, a lot of a lot of garages out there don't give these things the respect because they they're getting to have a lot of miles nowadays and and 
you know, when when a mechanic, when a technician sees an older car rolling in his bag, he just kind of puts the blinders on and, and, and gets it out because, you know, oil leaks and, and, and rust and stuff that goes wrong with older cars that doesn't necessarily go wrong with these Saabs kind of makes people wary about working on these older cars. So if you got something going on with your, with your Saab or with your whatever, whatever you got, just uh, leave a comment. I'll respond if you need any information. I'm here for you. I'm here for you guys. And really, all I ask is just uh, comment, uh, hit the little the like button, hit the share, share these videos, uh, and uh, I'll keep Amesy's Corner going for you guys. It seems to be my my sobs and all of my sob content seems to be my most popular stuff. So I'm okay with that because, as you can see, I like sobs too. So anyway, I hope this helps. I hope this information helps you guys. And until next time, I'll help you keep it out of the cabbage.